that's what coming out. There was a sign in front of the till. Log and cider. So I said to the young lad, oh, is this sign just like a bit of fun or is it genuine? He went, oh, it's genuine. He says, they're lovely and cold. Rachel, oh, gives a hop a log. I push straight in. She was right straight in. So when we had to sit down in the seated area, me and Eric were on the hard stuff, you know, the dandelion and the bulldog, while Rachel necked a logger. You alright everyone? Well, today is Wednesday. Um I'm not sure the date to be honest. Uh, Sunday would have been the eighth. Monday the 9th, Tuesday the tenth. Must be the eleventh of September. This is the first opportunity I've got to make a video um since Saturday when I was at Beamish. So we'll have a little story. I get the text of Rachel and Eric and arranges to meet them there. But the text said, we are here, we've got the bus down to the town centre. Well, I had never been to Beamus before in my life. So I eventually gets there, gets to the car park, parks up, Walks down, goes to the queue, says the guy, I've got me ticket for the North East Hort, the Cultural Society. Do I just go straight June? He went, well, go to the little shed over there first. So I went in, I says to the lassie, I went, there's me ticket. She went, oh, go straight June. Well, I went. There's a massive queue at this bus stop. So the bus comes along and it lets so many on, it pulls away, and there's still brought loads of people left. And another bus comes, lets people on, some people's getting off, pulls away. I thought this queue isn't moving very far. So I thought I'll walk down and I'll just keep checking at every bus stop. Well, I get so far down, bus is not passing us. So when I get to a bus stop, I look, there's no buses. But sure enough, once I'm in between buses, a bus passes. So I thought, oh, bright spark idea. I'll try and flag a bus down. So the next bus that comes along, right in between bus stops, I sort of like went like that with my hand. The driver, cheeky sod. We have back to us. Oh, where he went? He must have just thought I was waving. So I eventually get to a bus stop and see a bus coming. So, oh, sorry. In the meantime, I've tried phoning Eric and Rachel to see where they are. I've got no internet signal. I've got no signal on my phone to make a phone call. So this bus comes and I jumps on. And I says to the conductor, I says, do you go to uh, the Marquis or the Venture? He went, you need to get back up the bus. He says, just follow that lane down. So I walked down, went in, had a look in one marquee, went in, had a look around the next ones. Um, I seen a couple of flower arrangements from my pal, our secretary, Harry. And then I went back into the first marquee and I seen Eric and he seen me. So when I said hello to Eric and Rachel and we had a little bit crack on, then Rachel went, oh, there's Dean over there. Dean Hood, Dean lost the plot. I says, oh, hi. I says, yes, I says, but there's Leslie there, Dean's wife with the kids. So Dean come over and we had a little bit of a crack. And then I seen my plot neighbor, Mick, with his wife Dawn. So I went and spoke to them. What about 20 minutes? 
Um, and I had says to Dawn, I says, I've looked, I says, and I've seen two, which I think are Harry's. I says, but there was no name. One was a Collius, like a, I think it was a seven inch pod plant air class. Sure enough, that was Harry's. And then I seen a one which was a Barbary DMO. And I was right, that was Harry's. But the one that I like best, I had says to make, I says, all these displays, I went, there's too much in that voice for me. I says, but this one, I says, that's absolutely gorgeous. Mick told me, went, that's Harry's. I went, never had a look at the ticket. Sure enough, it's Harry's. So he got play. I think he got a second for it. So I says to Mick and Dawn, I'm going to have a walk around with Eric and Rachel. So we walk around and we're looking at the veg, sure veg, um, Peter Glaze Brooks onion, which is this one here, 16 pounds, seven ounce. And then we went, we had a look at carrots. Beetroot. Leeks. Tomatoes. Even a giant cabbage. Uh, and we plot neighbor, Mick. Kindly had his photo taken with the cabbage. So who's the biggest cabbage? That was a joke, by the way. Mick is a diamond. He's great. Um, so we had a look around. Rachel bought some stuff. Then we went for a walk around. And we ended up in the pub. And I think Rachel had a gin and tonic. It was either a gin and tonic or a vodka and lemonade. Whatever it was, it was clear in Charlie Schweppes bottle. So it was one or the other. And we had a look in the old houses. We went into the Pittman's cottages. And it was awesome to be taken back in time. They had like the range, you know, the old open coal fire and the cooker was there and you would put your old flat iron on to heat it up. I don't know if the sun's affecting this screen because it's blinding through that window now. Um, and we had a look at the back gardens where they grew veg, um, beetroot, potatoes, cabbages, etc. Uh, quite a few um, caterpillars. Rachel remarked, that they were, the veg was better than hers, and hers was netted. Then we went to this little shop to get a drink. And we went in, and Eric asked for a dandelion and burdock. Sorry if I'm squinting, that sun's really getting in my eyes. I'll try and move. Eric asked for dandelion and burdock. I said, oh, I'll have the same. And Rachel said, oh, we'll make that three. I said, I'll pay for it. Eric went, no, you'll not put your money away. We'll pay. So I did say thank you at the time. But I will say it again. Thank you very much, Eric and Rachel. And as we're coming out, there was a sign in front of the till. Log and cider. So I said to the young lad, I went, is this sign just like a bit of fun? Or is it genuine? He went, oh, it's genuine, he says. The lovely and cold, Rachel. Oh, gives a hop a log, a posh. Straight in she was. Right, straight in. So we went, we had to sit down in the seated area. Me and Eric were on the hard stuff. You know, the dandelion and bulldog. Well, Rachel necked a log. And we had a good bit they talk. We discussed other YouTube channels. Um, Terry King, Nick the Gardener, Claire at the Farmyard Garden. Ali and Trisha, the right pair plot. 
Ali at my rusty garden. Um, and I asked her, did you follow um, Jason at the allotment of the dead? She said, yes. And I mentioned Duncan at Coastal Gardens, NW, North Wales. And she wasn't sure if she did or not. So I did text her the link later on, on the evening, but I'll put it back in here anyhow. And Rachel said she had called to Jamie's, um, Jamie's Lockman Garden on YouTube to see if Jamie was coming for the day. But he wasn't. Family commitments, etc. So we we'll walked around again and we've seen an old fashioned policeman who had a warrant out for Eric's arrest. And Eric got the cuffs put on and led away and he's safely locked in prison and he's not getting out until the year uh, 2029. No, it's not. <laughs> but it was good to watch him get the handcuffs on, you know what I mean? Uh, like I say, and we went to different places. We eventually walked right back to the very beginning. And we went into the memorabilia shop, like a gift shop, and Rachel bought more stuff. Then we went all the way up to the car parks. Lo and behold, we won the same car parks. We stood chatting for about maybe half an hour. Me and Eric were chatting about a couple of channels. And I had been resting on this car. So when it was time for to leave, I went again in this car. I started to walk around a bit and I realised it's not my car. My car still was 200 yards along the car park. So we left. And I had a fantastic day. Oh, sorry. Before we got the car park, we had went, in fact, before we left the marquees, sorry, we went to say goodbye to Dean and Leslie and the family. We seen Leslie and the kids sitting outside with fish and chips or whatever it was we're having. No sign of Dean, I believe he was in the marquee at the time. So we didn't get to say goodbye to Dean, but we said goodbye to Leslie and the kids. When we were actually at the top, coming out of the gift shop with um, the stuff Rachel had bought, we seen Dean and we shouted to her all. So I had said, Goodbye to Dean. Anyhow, we're back in the car park. Time to go. Eric and Rachel pull out. And I went back to my car. And since then, I've been really, really busy. Um, not with my allotment. I've been busy back at home helping my brother with his house. He's had, it's a long story. He's had new carpets fitted throughout the house. And... Since my mother passed away, he's been buying loads and loads and loads and loads more stuff. Unfortunately, he hasn't been getting rid of loads and loads and loads more stuff. So I had to try and clear certain rooms at a time, ready for the carpet fitter, so he could come and do this room, do that room, then do that room, where we were moving stuff again. Anyhow, we got our lad done. So last night gave me a chance to catch up on videos. So I've seen the one Rachel done for Beamish. And I've seen the one that Dean done. And then today I was on Facebook and I've seen a post by John Soulsby. <clears throat> I'll add a little bit of video at the end of this video. Um, it's footage taken by John Soulsby at the Beamish show. John's kindly gave us permission to use it, so there's not a problem there. Um, and that, that'll sort of gather in the different aspects of what was shown. Anyhow, <coughs> I forgot what I was saying. Uh, now, this may take us a few seconds, so I may have to cut this video and edit it. Um, oh, hi. Facebook this morning, the day. There's a post of John. Apparently, Beamish were very, very um, happy with the turnout over the weekend. 
that next year they're also going to be doing another show. So that'll be two shows in Gamish. And this one, I think, is going to be a leak show. I don't think it's going to be big leaks. I can't remember. I'll add it into here what it is. But it'll actually be held down at the miners' cottages. which is awesome. So I'm looking forward to going there again. Um, I'll just end this video by saying I had fantastic company on the day, Eric and Rachel, top-notch people. You may not know them personally. You may only see them on YouTube. Personally, what you see is what you get. There's no hidden agendas with Eric or Rachel. Um, they're not putting anything on for the camera. What you see on camera, oh, crazy. What you see on camera is what you actually get in person. So if you ever see Eric and Rachel out and about, if you see me out and about, or if you say Dean, Dim, you know, don't be shy. Come over, say hello, introduce yourself. You know, that sun's moving round. So I'm really glad this has come to the end of the video. Uh, so, yes, two shows next year at Beamish. Then obviously you're going to have Dean's uh, Northeast Giant Veg show with next year. Which I may, I've decided I'm going to try, notice I say try, and grow uh, giant cabbage, carrot, cucumber, and onion. So we'll see how they go. But as for now, I am going to go home, see to my dog, because. You know, misters, I've been away about nearly two and a half hours. Oh, hey, I tell you, it's really, really cold outside, hence why I've got the fire on in here. Uh, really cold out there. It was hailstone, and before, believe it or not, hailstone in Gateshead. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to add John Chosby's footage in from Beamish. And before I go, Mal, the veg plot man, I want to show you something in this video, which applies to you. Hey Mal, there's me cucumber plant. One I've done a week or so before yours. I've, I've just stopped the grill any higher. As you can see, Cucumber there. Um, there's a couple on here, you know. There's one there. Another little one. Just go in there. I think you can actually see it. Where the paper is. There. And there's a couple more. 
consider the light blinding the us to observe the screen one second. There's two there. Then I've got another two there. One very, very small one there. If I could do the other plant, which I could break back. Um, not sure if there's any growth on here except for this one. That's probably bigger S here. I think if I look, I'll probably find there's one there. Don't know if there's any more on this side or not. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, this was just on my, there's one at the back. The veg pot man mal. Um, if the titties are growing, sorry, the titties, that's because I'm looking at them there. If my cucumbers are growing yet, there's absolutely no reason why yours won't grow. There's some Maris Piaz I put in on the 27th of August. I've done one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And I've got growth coming through one, two, three of them up in now. Um, them are the two when I just put some red potatoes in on the single seed potato challenge 2024. Speaking of which, Jason, at the allotment of the dead, you're more than welcome to those potatoes I sent you, yes. Jason, <laughs> here it is, potatoes, and he had none more, and he wished he had kept some, so he could try plant them and grow some more. So when I seen his video, I contacted Jason, I said, look, I've got some, if you want some, I'll send you some. So I sent them, and I hadn't mentioned it to anyone, and I wasn't going to, until i seen Jason's actually done a video planting the potatoes and thanking me for sending them. So Jason, if you're watching this, mate, you are more than welcome. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye for now.